Hey everyone, today we're making this spicy cucumber and radish salsa. I think you're really gonna like it. It's super fresh and tasty and it's hot. I like a hot salsa. So first thing I'm doing is I'm just, I have my peeled cucumber here. I've seeded it. You can leave the seeds in if you want. Um, it'll make the salsa more watery, but you know, I take them out. I cut them into strips and I'm just gonna do like a really nice small dice. The smaller the dice, the better. You know, salsa, you wanna fit it on the chip. So a small dice is usually preferred. So we're just gonna take our chopped up cucumbers, we're gonna add them to a large mixing bowl. And I just wanna say, you know, I love salsas. I love tomato salsa. I love non-tomato salsas. Tell me what some of your favorite salsas are. Okay, since we're using cucumbers, here's how to properly store cucumbers. They don't like to be too cold. So I store mine on the countertop in a cool place in the house with no direct sunlight. They last quite a while that way. You can store them in the fridge. If you're going to store them in the fridge, store them in the warmest part of your fridge. They don't like to be cold, unlike me. So that'll help them last longer. One of the other things that's really important about storing cucumbers is keeping them away from produce that produces ethylene gas. Some do more than others. For example, an apple or a banana, they put off a lot of ethylene gas and cucumbers are super sensitive to that. So you wanna make sure that whether you're storing them in the fridge or on the counter, you keep them away from that produce. Okay, so now for the rest of the salsa. Let's go ahead and dice that yellow bell pepper. We're gonna add in some diced red onion and four radishes, also still using a small dice on all of these ingredients here because we want them to be tortilla chip friendly. Um, I'm using Easter radishes just because they have a really nice pop of color, they're really bright pink, but any radish will do. Add in the serrano pepper and the chopped cilantro. Add in the juice from the limes and minced garlic. So if this recipe sounds good to you so far, this is the perfect time to give me a thumbs up, just saying. So bell peppers, since we're using them, let's talk about storing them also. They like it a little bit colder than cucumbers, so they actually fare pretty well in the refrigerator, but they also like it really humid. So you can put them in a bag to kind of contain that humidity for, that's inside the fridge, or if you have a crisper drawer, put them in the crisper drawer and turn the humidity up. They'll love it. They'll keep fresh that way for weeks. Since we're using uh, serrano chilies in this, how to store chili peppers just in general. They like the cold also, just like other bell peppers, they're similar in that sense, they like the cold, but not so much on the humidity. So I would put them in, if you have a crisper drawer, do low humidity, don't pump up the humidity there, but they also don't like to be near ethylene producing produce. So, you know, apple and bananas, those other things, keep them away from that. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our sea salt and then just mix the salsa together. How great is this salsa looking, guys? Okay, so I just wanna say, I release new videos every single week, so if you, like to cook like I do, this is a good time to subscribe. So this salsa will keep in the fridge in an airtight container for about two to three days. I like it on the cold side, so I recommend once you kind of mix everything together, put it in the fridge, let it sit there for about an hour covered before serving, it'll be super, super tasty. But one thing is for sure, this salsa is very, very versatile. So it's not only great with tortilla chips, but you could also turn it into a salad, a quick little salad. So just add in some bitter greens to saladify it, if that's a word. Super easy way just to kind of take it from being a salsa to being a salad. Tell me how you wanna use it, like what you would put this salsa on, tacos, whatever, whatever you wanna put it on, just drop a comment below and let me know. So hope you guys like this recipe as much as I liked creating it, and hey, I'll see you next time.